In this video, we shall learn that how to incorporate headers in the e-invoicing APIs released by my GST Cafe. So you must have received this documentation and under that documentation, there is a worksheet called URL and headers. Now you have to, in order to post the APIs, there will always be a header and, there's, and that header will have all these attributes that is GST number, customer name, branch name, username, password and all these things. So now let's understand each and every, uh, the use of each and every attribute. Now this is a GST number that is that you, here you will mention in this particular header section, you will mention that for which GSTN you are going to do the e-invoicing. Similarly, the, the, uh, another attribute is customer name. So you can write your customer name. Let's say your company is Reliance Industries. So you have to write Reliance Industries Limited here. Now there is another attribute called branch. So you can uh, mention the name of the branch. So the uh, all these attributes, the description of all these attributes are given here and whether these attributes are mandatory or not, that is also mentioned here. So GST number is compulsory, but the customer name and branch is not compulsory. Now there is an other attribute that is username and password. Now in this attribute, you have to write the API user ID that has been provided by the NIC or you can say you must have previously created some credentials in the sandbox environment or in the uh, live environment. Uh, so all these credentials will be mentioned here. So we have a separate video for creating credentials for sandbox environments. You can go through that video and we have a separate video, uh, video how to create e invoicing API credentials for live environment. So whatever the ID and password you have generated from the NIC portal or from the IRP portal, you have to fill that value here. Now this customer ID, API ID, secret key, all these values will be provided by the my GST cafe team. So let's take an example that how the things will work. So let's say, suppose you are going to do the sandbox testing. So I am writing the column name as sandbox testing. Now, first of all, what is the URL that you are going to use for sandbox testing? So I'm also mentioning the URL here. So when you will uh, post an API request for the purpose of sandbox testing, so the URL that is that you are going to hit will be this particular URL that is sandbox URL. So I'm just copying this URL and I am writing it here. So this is the URL that you are going to use for sandbox testing. Now comes the GSTI number. So for your convenience for the demonstration purpose, I have prepared some sample values here. So we will take the help of these sample values and we will try to fill up the attributes here. So the GST number, this is the ID password and the GST number of the sandbox environment. So you already must have created some of the other ID password for your sandbox environment in the government side. So you have to fill the GST number as you must have uh, received from the government or it might be your default GST number as well. So I'm writing the I am filling this attribute with the GST number of the sandbox environment. Now, now the customer name is, let's say the customer name is ABC Private Limited and the branch name is Delhi. Please note, these are optional fields. It is purely totally up to you that whether you want to mention these fields or not. Now the, comes the username and password. Now I will, I have created a sandbox user ID at the government portal with the ID as my GST cafe test. So I will fill up this value here. Now I will copy the password as well and fill up the password here. So all these things will be, all these things will be, uh, as per the, uh, ID and or credentials that are created at NIC portal. Now comes the credentials of my GST cafe. So for this, we have already created an account for you. You just have to log into your account. When you will log into your account, there will be a section called view credentials. So you have to nav navigate to this section view credentials. Now here you can copy the ID that has been allotted to you and mention the customer ID here that has been provided to you by my GST cafe. Similarly, the API ID and the secret key is also mentioned here. So you can copy this API ID and mention the API ID here. Similarly, we will copy the API secret key as well and we will paste the API secret key as 
here. The source will be API only. So all these values you have, you, it, all these values will be required while you are doing testing on sandbox environment. So uh, for your convenience, I'm also showing you the Postman collection as well. So this is the Postman collection. So this is the header detail and all these values that are to be there in the header, header, all these values are totally as per the attributes that we have provided in this particular Excel file. Now, when you when you will go for the live environment, or you when you will go for the live environment, you the URL that you are going to use will be this one production URL. So you I will fill up this attribute by copying this production URL and I will paste it here. This is the production URL that you have to use while doing invoicing on the live environment. Similarly, the GST number. So there might be two different GSTN numbers in your case. So whatever the GSTN number is, accordingly, you have to copy this GSTN number. So like in my case, for this demonstration purpose, I have two GSTNs. One is in Uttar Pradesh and one is in Maharashtra. So I will copy the GSTN number of Maharashtra. Suppose if I'm going to do the invoicing for Maharashtra and I will paste it here. Again, the company name will be the same. Let's say now the branch name is Mumbai. So accordingly, from the database of your ERP, you can map map this value, the branch value. Now, again, just have a look at another video that we have created for uh, for uh, for your learning that how to create the API credentials for the live environment. You can go through that video and accordingly create the live credentials as well, and then copy the live ID that you have created. So here you, it is important to know that while creating the user ID, you must have created the ID with this particular name only. That is the characters that are appearing after underscore and the government, the invoice portal automatically prefixes these four characters, API underscore. It automatically prefixes these four characters before the, uh, before the user ID that has been created by you. So here it is important to note that while doing invoicing in a live environment, you have to mention the full ID that is you have to prefix API underscore and then mention the ID that is created by you. So you so for demonstration purpose, I'm just copying this ID and I am pasting it here. Similarly, write the password as well. And all these details. Since these this, these details, the credentials that are provided by my GST cafe, they are static in nature. So all these details will remain the same. So, so just to conclude that uh, in the header section, all these yellow color highlighted portion, these section will change according to the state. Suppose if you are going to do the invoicing of Maharashtra, then you have to write down the GST number of Maharashtra and the API credentials of Maharashtra. And suppose if you are going to do the invoicing of Uttar Pradesh, then accordingly the, the GST number and the API ID and the password will be of Uttar Pradesh. All the white color portion will remain the same. That is the credentials provided by my GST cafe will always be the same. And as, as, and as far as the URL of the live environment is concerned this will remain the same for all the states but in only one scenario it will change that is when you are going to do the invoicing for the live environment you are going to do this you are going to use this url and when you are going to do the invoicing in the sandbox environment you are going to use this particular url i hope uh, everything is clear to you now now comes the most important part like there are uh, many ASPs and software developers who are associated with us and they have taken a separate dealer panel or CRM panel for us for redistributing the API stock to their customers. So for them, how they are going to or which credentials they are going to take uh, from uh, each of their customers and how they are going to incorporate all these things in their API headers. So the process will remain the same. The only thing is the customer ID will change according to the customer from where your solution is running. For instance, I am a software developer that is ABC Private Limited and I have 10 customers. And if I have taken a dealer panel from my GST cafe, then my GST cafe 
has given me the facility to create customer under my ASP panel as in this case, right? So what happens is I have my own credentials, which I can uh, view it from here. So when you will create your customers and when their ID password is also generated, when they will log into the uh, my GST cafe portal from your login, login ID and password, they will exactly see the same view as you are seeing it here, right? So, and every customer will have a different credentials. So what you have to do in this case, so if you want that the API stock should be deducted from your, from your customer's account, then you have to mention the customer ID of that particular customer in the API headers. So let's say you have 10 customers. So in customer one, when you are going to deploy, you have to handle your code in such a way that uh, that when the your customer number one fires the API, then these credentials will be used. And when your customer number two fires the invoicing API, then his credentials will be used in the header of that API. So by following this method, you will be able to manage the stock of APIs of your customers. For any confusion, you can email us at fintech at mygstcafe.com. Thank you.